Married at First Sight, Season 1. Couples that are still together and not together. Married at First Sight viewers are curious, want to know how the show's first season couples are doing these days, and if they're still together. As Married at First Sight Season 14 approaches a close, viewers may remember the show's history. We have to admit that Married at First Sight has become one of the most popular in the genre's history, constantly attracting viewers and proving an excellent quality entertainment series. Moreover, no long-term success of the series would be conceivable without Season 1. The show's concept of making two strangers get married at first sight was a risk, so Season 1 had to be good for the series to earn more opportunities. Luckily, the season achieved its goal as these three couples led to a tremendously exciting season. The couples have had plenty of time to see if their love was only functional in front of the camera or if they could succeed in the real world, with the finale having aired nearly eight years ago. J.D. Otis and Doug Henner participating in season one was a huge risk for any participant because they had no idea what they were getting themselves into or if it would be successful. Likewise, J.D. Otis and Doe Henner were two persons who decided to take a risk and sign up for the show. The two had a bumpy start in their relationship, the beginning appearing to be incompatible with each other. However, they became closer as time went on and on decision day, they decided to stay married. Furthermore, Jamie and Doug are still together and remain true to their decision, taken eight years back. You should also know that Doe proposed to Jamie once again after the season concluded, feeling that their marriage in the show was too staged and phony. The duo kindled their wedding vows once again in another ceremony. Their constant devotion to each other and watching their love bloom on the show has made them one of the most beloved and finest couples to feature on the show. The couple is now parents to their two children, making them one of the few MAFS couples to have children. They welcomed a baby girl named Henley Grace in 2017 and a baby boy named Hendrix Douglas in 2020. Courtney Hendrix and Jason Carrion. While Jamie and Doug got off to a sluggish start, Courtney and Jason had a much better start compared to them. In fact, the two appeared to be instantly attracted to each other and quite compatible, so it was no surprise that when decision day arrived, the two opted to stay married. They even stayed together for a couple of years after the finale as though they were destined to spend the rest of their lives together. However, the couple made a shocking announcement of their divorce in 2019. Their marital relationship lasted for five years. Moreover, Courtney announced her divorce news on Instagram, saying that the two agree to embark in different paths, but they will always have a love for one another. Currently, both of them have moved on as they have remarried and have children with their new spouses. Courtney married in 2020 and gave birth to a baby after a year of remarrying. On the other hand, Jason has deleted his Instagram account, but the last time fans heard from him was when he remarried and expecting a child. He married a soap opera actress named Roxanne Pallet. Monet Ball and Vaughn Copeland Monet and Vaughn were the couples from MAFS Season 1 who had possibly the best start in their marriage. Everything was fine between them until their honeymoon when things swiftly started to unravel. They began to have little quarrels and appeared to satisfy in their relationship. Hence, a pair decided to divorce on the decision day, which came as no surprise to anyone. The duo has remained to stay away from each other since they decided to end their relationship. Although there appears to be no bad blood between them, they choose to end their relationship. Not much is known about Monet and Vaughn as of now. Vaughn hasn't tweeted since 2016 when he announced his relocation to Germany to start a new life with his new wife. Moreover, he also owns Copeland's Organics, a small business. Likewise, Monet has a private Instagram account, making it impossible for us to know what she's up to in recent years.